in this video. We are going to see the step-by-step -step process for installing the Trend IQ Set software tool and licensing. If you want to learn more about IQ Set and Trend Control Systems, link in the description. Welcome to Inside Control Systems YouTube channel. Software Overview Trend IQ Set is a PC based software tool, and Trend IQ Set is a specialized configuration and commissioning software tool developed by Trend Control Systems for use with their IQ series of building automation controllers. It is primarily used by system integrators, engineers, and technicians during the setup and maintenance of building management systems. I believe the initial release of the IQ Set was 1.0 and it has been updated consistently. As of 2025, the IQ set version is 8.3. Installation. Before installing, ensure that the PC meets the system requirements. See the latest IQ set data sheet. The installation of IQ set on a virtual machine is not supported. IQ set is not supported on computers using the Snapdragon ARM processor. To install IQ Set, follow the procedure step by step. Step 1 Download and install. This software is not available for free on the internet, instead, it is only available through the official Trend Partners Net Portal. First, you must register or sign up for the Trend Partners Portal by providing your personal and company information, following which, you must create a username and password. After successfully creating the username and password, you can now access the Trend Partners portal. Download the most recent version of IQ Set files using the Downloads option. To install the IQ Set program after the download is complete, right click the file and select Run as Administrator. The Install Shield Wizard dialog box will appear indicating that the IQ set setup is preparing the install shield wizard which will guide you through the program setup process wait a few minutes the welcome install shield wizard for seb dialog box is now displayed click next the software license agreement will be displayed read the software license agreement completely to print the software license agreement then select the print option if necessary. After you have finished reading, select the I accept the terms of the license agreement option. Click Next. Now the software version information dialog box will appear, displaying the new features and supported services of the current and previous versions of IQ Set program after noted them. Click Next. The username dialog box will appear in this box and are your name and the name of the company where you currently work. After clicking Next, the Setup Type dialog box displays three options, Standard, Complete, and Custom. If you pick Standard, all software features, including metric solutions, will be implemented. Selecting the Complete option installs all program features, including metric and imperial solutions. If you select the custom option, you can choose which application features to install. Select the setup type that best suits your needs after click Next. The IQ Set Project Folder Storage Location dialog box will appear. The setup will create the basic project folder in C Disk by default. If you want to change it, click the Change option. Otherwise, click Next. The wizard is ready to begin installation dialog box will appear. To review or change your installation options, click back. To cancel, click cancel to exit the procedure. To continue, click install to start the installation process. The install shield wizard is starting to install the IQ set software, which should take a few minutes. Finally, the install shield process has successfully installed the IQ set software on the system. Click finish to exit the program. License IQ set. Before IQ set can be used, it must be licensed. Note, 
if upgrading from a licensed version of IQ set 6.91 or earlier IQ set can be run using a bridging license for 7 days to allow registration on the licensing portal. Adjustment to the PC's date and time may cause the license to become invalid. If upgrading from a licensed version of 6.91 or earlier it is necessary to relicense IQ set. A bridging license is available to allow a valid license to be obtained. Obtain an unlock code. Display the license details dialog box. This may be displayed when you run the software or may need to be displayed manually. Click the copy symbol button to copy the side code onto the clipboard or make a note of it. Click the key symbol button this will open PNet licensing portal. Log in with your PNet username and password. Click request license keys. Click the product you want to license. Select the type of license required from the Feature Required box. Enter the details requested on the page. The site should be entered in the Site Code box. Click Request License. The site code will be displayed on the screen, and you will also receive an email notification. Enter the Unlock Code. Ensure you have the site key available. In the company name box enter your company name. In the user name box enter your name. In the site key box enter the supplied site key. Click activate. If the software is activated successfully a message box is displayed. Click OK to close the trend license details dialog box. Once activated, the IQ set will be valid for one year, after which the license must be reapplied next year. During this year, if you have a problem with your system, such as a corrupted OS, a hard disk failure, or another issue, you can reapply for the license. However, relicensing will be limited. Set up users. IQ set enables users to be set up to so that the correct user can be assigned to the project. It also enables the information that appears in the system view to be defined. Each user has a username password, and associated user role. The username will be added to descriptions of the things the user does. The password enables them to log on, and the user role determines how information in the system view is presented to them. Note, the first time IQ set is run it forces the creation of a single user administrator and requires a suitable password to be specified. This user is only used to set up other users. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.